everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today we are going to be going over the top 10 Louis Vuitton classiest canvas bags to buy. Do you want to mention before we get into it, the earrings that I'm wearing only because I've been wearing them the last few days and I really, really love them more than all of my other earrings. These are the, I do believe they're called Louis Vuitton iconic earrings. If I'm wrong, I will correct that in the video, but they do have a rose gold finish and they also have an iridescent logo that just swivels around. What I love about them too is the fact that they will basically match any outfit that you wear because they are rose gold and they do have that iridescent logo. So yeah, these are definitely my favorite. And again, linked within the description box below. I'm gonna throw it out there guys as I typically do in case you have not joined my YouTube luxury community. I kindly invite you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also, by clicking the notification bell located underneath the subscribe button, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I'm right about to show you the bags. Before I do, I want to mention things that really did put these bags on the list. Number one is the fact that they stand out so beautifully and so elegantly while you're wearing them. Number two, they really will upgrade your outfit in an amazing way. And when I say that, I do mean when you're wearing a casual outfit and we wear one of these bags, your outfit is automatically going to be elevated. And then lastly, the architectural craftsmanship of these bags to make them look as classy and beautiful as they do. I'll be going through these in no particular order, but I thought I might as well just start off with a bang with a gorgeous classy canvas bag that is known as the side trunk. It basically just speaks for itself as being a work of art. We all know that the Louis Vuitton, or most of us know, <laughs> that the Louis Vuitton fashion house did start out with trunks, did start out with luggage, and how beautiful this bag is as a little trunk bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure you guys have seen the detailing in other videos. Craftsmanship is absolutely outstanding. I'm loving the little LVs right here. Louis Vuitton truly did an amazing job with the architectural construction of this bag. I should really do a very in-depth review on this bag in particular, just because it's so amazing. I did do a comparison video between this gorgeous stunner and the next bag that I want to show you, the Petite Mal Souple. I mean, really, you guys, is the classiness just bursting through the screen? <laughs> I think this bag is perfect for basically any height and any stature. I really think the strap length is perfect for the size of this bag. Let me go ahead and show you. I do have this on a setting. That's one, two, three, four holes up. I wish all straps could be this versatile when it comes to adjusting to all heights and statures. And that is exactly what this bag does. It's perfect for any height, any stature. Let me go ahead and try on the Petit Mont Souple. Again, you guys, this is on the longest length. This is on about four holes up, I do believe. This is the Petite Mal Souple. This chain is just everything. And then we have the gorgeous side trunk right here. Petite Mal Souple, how did I forget to show you this beautiful bag with the gold chain over the shoulder? So let's go ahead and put this on. It's so very beautiful. I think you guys would agree. This bag obviously has a lot of detail to it to make it very classy looking. You see the luggage tag right here. We have the chain that hangs off that is absolutely gorgeous and is detachable if you did not want it there. It also has these side tabs right here that are just so defined and just really gives the bag so much oomph and so much pop if that makes sense and when worn it's just absolutely gorgeous now this does come with the jacquard strap which makes it a very edgy bag on top of being a very classy bag so petite mal souple is going to be another one you guys might want to consider and also i should mention it does have the double zipper on the top i have to stop what i'm saying because something literally just popped into my mind all canvas bags from louis vuitton can really be considered classy bags but the ones that i chose i choose them because they stand out in such a beautiful and elegant way so a common denominator that you are going to see with all the bags that I show you is they do stand out in a very beautiful, elegant way. And that to me is what's going to make a very classy bag. The next bag that I want to show you has been around the fashion house for a while, but it's still a beauty. It's still a stunner. It's still so classy. And I'm talking about the Louis Vuitton cans bag. I think we can all agree that the cans bag is very, very unique looking. I love the touch on the bottom with the little feet and the gold 
gold lock that is placed right here is absolutely stunning. The contrast between the black and the reverse monogram, the classic monogram, gold hardware is so beautiful. And in case you guys are wondering, it comes with a black strap. If you happen to own a monogram strap, say the one that comes with the pochette Matisse, or a reverse monogram, like the one that comes with the pochette Matisse reverse monogram, you definitely could use those straps as well. So there is versatility with the straps. I love this one, you guys. It gets a lot of attention. People complimented a lot. It's a very classy bag. Next one I want to show you is a classic and it will never go out of style. It just is what it is. And although the style is amazing, I chose this bag because of the print. Really, I did. And I am speaking of the Alma BB Demi Ben. There really is something about the Demi Ben. Don't get me wrong. I think the monogram is beautiful, but there is something about the Demi Ben that really makes this a elegant bag classy classy bag as a lot of you guys know it features the beautiful gold hardware feet on the bottom and it does feature the clochettes if you wanted to dress it up that much more you could obviously hot stamp your initial like i did right there obviously this bag can be worn tote style very very cute i love it like this as a matter of fact you guys there are many times i've worn this bag just like this because it's so cute and adorable i am five foot eight about 135 pounds and this strap hits me about here and it's a very comfortable bag we're speaking of the alma i'm going to go ahead and speak about another bag that's considered to me one of the top 10 classiest canvas bags from louis vuitton and that is the alma pm to me this really should be so high up on the canvas list for a classy classy bag from louis vuitton the history starting off is amazing because it was originated by Coco Chanel. Outside of her own fashion house, she wore this bag a lot. That says so much. And also just the aesthetics of the bag. It's so very beautiful. Obviously, it's meant to be worn tote style because it does not come with the strap. Now, as you guys can see, I do have a little charm right here. But yeah, it's just so elegant when you're wearing it like this. Don't you guys agree? It's just so, so pretty. I remember the first time I saw it at a Louis Vuitton Christmas party. I was just so taken aback. That was about four or five years ago. It was quickly added to my wish list and here we are today. <laughs> Still talking about it and how wonderful it is. And just like the Alma BB, it does feature the feet. Absolutely amazing. You guys can see I've used this bag so much in the last four to five years and it really has stayed in the utmost pristine condition. And the price point for such a classy bag is very, very good. I remember I was touring a gym one time and everybody was literally staring at this bag as I wore it around and I thought to myself, oh my God, Gosh, I feel so classy and fancy wearing this bag because everybody's staring at it. So that says a lot. The Alma PM is absolutely amazing. Next bag is one that I acquired last year. It's a revision of a classic and it will never ever leave my collection. That is a fact. This beautiful Ellipse PM, this one is a revision and it does have a zipper that the vintage style does not have. Literally when I felt this zipper pull, I was in love. What can I say? This is one of the smoothest zipper pulls I've ever felt in my entire life. The inside is amazing. I initially said in my unboxing video, I've said it quite a few times, that when I first saw this bag, I envisioned it tote style. So that's the way I'm going to be showing it to you initially. Love it with the charm. This is a great bag to dress up or, you know, just in its simplicity, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I love it, you guys, to style. I think you would too. What I'm gonna do now is try on where I can find the strap. Yes, there it is. I'll show you guys a little bit more up close how it looks from the side. Very, very beautiful. Again, very dainty, very feminine, very beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and adjust it and put it on the longest length. It looks like this. Now I have to point this out. What I noticed when I first tried this on in store is how it hangs off the hip. Because of the shape of this bag, it literally just plops off the hip. And obviously that's a wonderful thing because it's going to make the bag stand out. When you think, for example, the Speedy Bandolier 25, which I happen to have right here. So yes, this is the Speedy Bandolier 25 and this is the Ellipse PM. Some may say, you know, they're a little bit similar. Obviously they are because they have monogram and vichetta, but if you look at the style of each bag, completely different. And you guys can see how this one just kind of adheres to my body. It's more of a boxy look, whereas this one is just so dainty and feminine and stands out beautifully. Now, don't get me wrong, I love this bag, 
but I'm loving this one more. I'm the only one that thinks like this. I'm not too sure, but do you guys get what I'm saying? This kind of looks like a very classy bag from the 1940s. When I think of history, the 1930s, the 1940s, even the 1950s, those were very, very classy decades. Basically anything that's gonna remind me of that era is very, very classy. <laughs> and that's exactly what the Ellipse PM does for me. It just makes me think of that era and it really just screams class to me. And literally, every time I wear this bag out, I find myself staring at it. There is something about the canvas that is so, so soft to the touch. And then also the hardware that it comes with is the upgraded gold shiny hardware. Upgraded hardware, that's another thing that's really going to elevate a bag and make it stand out that much more. This beautiful Ellipse PM definitely makes list as one of Louis Vuitton's classiest canvas bags. Uh-oh, I think somebody wants to come say hi. I have to interject this video. My little baby bunny brownie, he wants to make an appearance he has in the past and he really loves the attention he got okay I'm gonna say he really loved the attention um because you guys were so nice about him he said mommy i want to be in another video so here's brownie you guys this is brownie the bunny yeah brownie say hi it's your friends ah your friends brownie you want to say hi and give kissy all weeping shy He's such a good boy, you guys. You know, he literally gives me kisses, but I don't want to give him a kiss right now, huh? Because mommy's got lipstick on. But Brownie was like, mommy, please let me be on the screen. Please let me say hi to my friends. So Brownie, give everybody a kiss. Mwah! Good boy. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, Brownie just wanted to make a little appearance, you guys, because he loves everybody. He does. He's such a good boy. But yeah, he really does give kisses. As a matter of fact, the other night he did, and he turned his whole little head around. He was like, mm, to his mama. Here you go, Mickey. I'll be down a little bit. I love you. Brownie wanted to say hi, you guys. What can I say? He's such a good boy. <laughs> Brownie, are you tired after you got your little claws clipped? That's why you're in your little in your little thingy when you came into the room to see mommy? Yeah. Do your little claws feel better? Like when mommy gets my nails done? Yeah. Brownie, are you gonna go night night thinking about your friends and how you gave them kissy? Yeah. Such a good boy. I love you, Brownie. Everybody loves you just like you love them. Okay. Now, mommy, get back to my video and you can go back to Nine Nine. Let's get to another one, the beautiful semi-release. So many of you love it, just like me, and I cannot wait for the Unprompt version to be released in March. Mini bum bag. Again, it features the gold shiny hardware. It has the gold chain that hangs. So very beautiful. When I first started wearing this bag, I was wearing it with tank tops, with plain shirts, and it just elevated my look so much from a very casual look to a very classy casual look. Go ahead and start off wearing it as a crossbody. I do have it on the longest setting. As you guys know, there are additional holes and I can make it a lot shorter if I wanted to. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the longest setting and it does sit like this. If you guys could use your imagination just a little bit, if I were to shorten the strap, it would obviously go to about here, something like that. For any of you guys that would like to add more length to this bag when worn as a crossbody, and say, for example, you don't have any other strap to wear, you always have the option to wear a strap extender. And to show you what it looks like with the strap extender, I personally think it really does make a bag pop when you just have that extra gold in there. I'll go ahead and use the middle one just because it's in the middle and it gives a good idea and try it on and show you guys how it looks. So you guys can see additional length was added. If you'd like more length added, they do have a longer one. This was the medium size. But yeah, you guys, it's a wonderful thing. And if you didn't want the gold showing in the front, you can definitely have it showing in the back. I think it gives off a very edgy, beautiful, unique look. And yeah, you guys, I just find it to be absolutely beautiful. Obviously, you could go ahead and wear it on whatever side you'd like. You really just don't even feel the bag on your body, especially because it's small and it's not gonna carry a lot of weight. Mini bum bag is is absolutely amazing. I did do a detailed review on this in case you're interested. We're going to get into the next bag, which is kind of like this one, the high rise bum bag. And let me go ahead and tell you guys why this is a very classy bag for a canvas bag. First off, we do see a lot of shiny hardware. It has the upgraded hardware and it also has the luggage tag. Now, whenever a bag has a luggage tag, it's going to make it stand out more. I really love the fact that this is a very sporty bag and I'm very happy that Louis Vuitton did make this 
with the guitar strap. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think primarily I am going to be wearing it like this and it's just very, very comfortable and I cannot emphasize enough, contorts the body in such an amazing way. So it's a little weird and bittersweet if it makes sense because I don't like wearing bum bags over the waist, but this one I actually will because it fits so unique and so different and I'm such a huge fan of unique, different, and edgy. I cannot emphasize that enough, you guys. I don't have any bags that fit me like this over the waist. And for the price point, I do believe it is 1,850 US dollars. I could be wrong, I'll correct myself if I am, but Louis Vuitton, you guys, the prices just keep going up and up and up, and yeah, for that price, I believe you are getting so much for what you are paying. Next bag I wanna show you has something in common with this one, and it has to do with the luggage tag, and it is going to be the beautiful Boat Chapeau Souple. Now this one does have the pre-age leather, which I'm a huge fan of. And yeah, the luggage tag just really makes this bag stand out. Again, this is going to have more of a historical look to it. And there's just something about history and the class of the history that can really make a bag classy. So you don't see this one too often. Again, when a bag is unique and just stands out, it really does elevate the class level. And this bag does feature a double zip at the top. And it's just absolutely amazing. It can be worn cross body, over the shoulder, even backpack style. It's very, very versatile. So Beau Chapeau Souple. This is one that will never leave my collection. As a matter of fact, when I'm wearing it, sometimes I just look down at it and I'll just smile. I don't know what that's all about, but I don't know. I think it has something to do with the classy thing. I like classy canvas bags or shall I say classy canvas casual bags because they are canvas bags. Now the last bag I'm going to show you maybe I did save the best for last because I did do a video on the very best bag I bought in 2024 and this was it and let me tell you guys when I chose this bag that was very very difficult because it was in competition with the side trunk, the mini bum bag, the ellipse pms, high rise bum bag, some great bags. I love this one, you guys. This gorgeous Pochette Matisse East West. The original Pochette Matisse is very, very beautiful, but because it is this size and because the gold just stands out so very much, and then we have this hanging gold chain, which is absolutely stunning. If this bag could talk, this is exactly what this bag would say. I am a very, very classy bag. And if you wear me, you're going to feel amazing about yourself because you're going to feel so classy. <laughs> pretty much. And I think a lot of that has to do again with the shiny gold hardware, which this bag does have. So yeah, you guys, that's going to be what I consider to be the top 10 classiest canvas casual bags to buy from Louis Vuitton. There is actually one more I wanted to mention. It is discontinued, but I feel so passionately about it that I just have to mention it. And if ever you're to purchase a pre-loved bag, I would definitely consider this one because these bags will never never, ever, never, ever, ever leave my collection. I'm talking about the gorgeous Louis Vuitton Eva bag. This is the monogram. This is the Demi Era Ben. Maybe it's a little pathetic of me to say that I've never purchased a pre-loved bag. I think I just like the experience of buying from the Louis Vuitton store. But if I had not gotten these gorgeous bags before they were discontinued, I definitely would. These are classics. Not that it matters what celebrities wear, but I still see them wearing these bags, which means they're classics. They're not going out of style. They're just amazing. I had to mention it just because this is literally one of my favorite bags from Louis Vuitton. I just couldn't leave it out. So although I said 10, I really meant 11. <laughs> the Eva bag is amazing. I really hope this video helped in case any of you guys are interested in getting a canvas bag from Louis Vuitton in the near future, a classier canvas bag from Louis Vuitton. I have to stop because something just popped into my mind, a question, and I'm really glad that it popped into my mind because I want to know <laughs> as a Louis Vuitton lover, what do you consider to be the classiest canvas bag from Louis Vuitton? For me, I think I would have to choose the beautiful side trunk and a lot of that has to just do with the craftsmanship of the bag. So much detail that went into it when creating it, the imagination that went into it when creating it, and also the history. Like I said, we all know Louis Vuitton started out as a luggage luxury fashion house. So I love this little side trunk bag, you guys. It's amazing. That's going to be it. So let me know what you guys think. Always love hearing from you. So now's the time within the video where I'm going to complete transition topics as I typically do. If you are new to my channel, that is what I do. I love to go from speaking about luxury to something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. 
it really is my goal that when you leave this video, I would love for you to feel better inside, more uplifted within your spirit than when you started watching this video. The topic I chose for today, I titled it The Greatness in Gratitude. We have come to the end of another year, 2023, and what we choose to look back on really is going to dictate how our minds are going to feel. And really on a daily basis moving forward, what we choose to focus our minds on is really going to have a huge impact on how we feel inside. So when we look back on the year 2023, we can choose to look at the negatives, we can choose to look at the positives, we can choose to look at both. But I would really encourage you guys to look at what went right, what you have to be thankful for, because we have so much to be grateful for. Like the Bible says, God's plans for you are to prosper and succeed. That is what he wants for you, his child. And also he wants us to focus on things that are of a good rapport. He really does say it for a reason. He wants us to focus on the positive and gratitude is a wonderful way to do that. He wants us to focus on good things to keep our minds away from dark things. And it really is a fact that the enemy does invade our minds through different tactics, different schemes that he uses. And it's up to us to wear the armor of God to combat those automatic negative thoughts not believe them and believe in goodness, believe in truth and believe that your future is bright and wonderful. So a wonderful way to think of things that are of a good rapport is to focus on gratitude. And the wonderful thing is this, there is so much to be grateful for. And you know, we could just ask ourselves, what do I have to be grateful for? Not much. But oh my gosh, the list goes on and on and on and on. As a matter of fact, I'm reminded of a story. I read this book of a lady. She had a near-death experience and she went on to say, basically, he showed her a huge, huge mountain that went on forever with treasures. And the treasures he told her were the blessings that he gave her in her life. And she was just so taken aback by the fact that she went through her life and didn't even realize that God had given her so much. And examples of this are things like when we wake up in the morning, we're alive, we're breathing, what a gift that is. Other examples could be as simple as our eyesight. Many people don't have that. They lose it or their hearing, the ability to walk, the ability to talk, the ability to work, just the fact of knowing that God is always with you is something to be so grateful for because many people don't know that. And many people walk around and they don't realize how loved they are. So that's another thing to be so grateful for. We can easily go to the grocery store and everything is there. It's just too easy to think, oh, that's the way life is. And oh, I have to go to the grocery store. I don't wanna do that. It's, it's annoying. But what if you didn't have that? Like, what if there weren't people that, you know, worked behind the scenes and cut up the deli meats and prepared those stores with food, drinks, everything you need for you to be able to shop from. If you guys really use your imagination, you will see that the list of things to be grateful for goes on and on and on and on. And you know what would be absolutely wonderful is if you guys could really take this message and not let it leave your heart. If you could go into 2024 and when you find things to be grateful for, focus on it. Because like the Bible says, like God says, focus on things that are of a good report. Gratitude is a wonderful way to do that. It's a beautiful way to do that. Science has proven actually, if you want to bring science into it with God, science has proven that when you focus on things to be grateful for, it uplifts our spirits. At the end of the day, there is so much to be grateful for. We could look at the glass as half full, or we could look at the glass as half empty. Please choose to always look at that glass as half when invaded with those automatic negative thoughts, a great way to combat them is through gratitude. Focus on everything that God has been doing for you in your life. If you could start your day off in a great mindset of gratitude, that's a wonderful way actually. If you could start your day and before you check your cell phone, before you do anything, say to yourself inside your mind 10 things that you're grateful for. It doesn't take much time. You could say thank you God for the sheets I had to sleep on last night. Thank you God for the roof over my head. Thank you God for the beautiful sky outside. Thank you God that I'm feeling good today. Thank you God that I woke up this morning. Thank you God that I have the opportunity to have a wonderful day because I'm going to make it a wonderful day. Life is a lot of spiritual warfare and the wonderful thing is we have the knowledge, we have the armor to wear that God has given us to live the happiest, most fulfilled life 
possible. And that is what I want for you guys. And a great way to achieving that is going to be through gratitude. So if you guys could try to do that in the morning, just focus on 10 things quickly. When you get out of bed, I promise you, your day is going to be a lot better than if you did not think about those 10 things. And then if you want to take a step further throughout the day, focus on things to be grateful for. It's really going to uplift your spirit in an amazing way. You'll see. So that is what I have to say on the topic of the greatness and gratitude. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on that topic and or any comments or questions on the bags that I consider to be the top 10 classiest canvas bags from Louis Vuitton, please leave all comments and questions within the comment section below. I thank you if you did make it to the end of this video. I'm very, very excited about my next. Until then, you guys take care. And let me just say I'm very, very excited about the next video. I think you guys will be too. <laughs> but yeah, until then, you guys take care. And I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.